Hello and welcome back to the channel. If you're watching this in real time, it's March 22. If you're watching this in the future, welcome to the future. So we're talking today about Ilford Delta 400. My name is Paul Mackay from Analog Wonderland and Delta 400 is one of Ilford's flagship films. So a fantastic professional quality black and white film. I'm gonna get into the detail of what that means for you and your photography and why you might use this film over some of the perhaps more famous Ilford range. Whether you are new to film photography or a long time analog enthusiast, our channel covers all things film, from tips and tricks, film reviews to how to videos. Subscribe now and keep those notifications turned on so that you never miss a beat. Happy shooting. Ilford's Delta 400. So it is one of the Delta family alongside 100 and 3200, more mid-range speed, perfect for UK weather. I say 400, it always is. So on sunny days, it'll be able to cope. On gloomy days, it'll be able to cope. Indoors, whack a flash on it, it'll absolutely be fine. Now, we talk quite a lot about pushing, pulling, how far a film can be taken. And while you definitely can push this film, pull this film, it has really high quality chemistry within it. Generally speaking, with the Delta range, a bit like Kodak's T-Max, which also has 100, 400, and 3200. This is a professional emulsion, which means it is designed, it is fine-tuned to work perfectly at a specific ISO, so ISO 400 for today's discussions. What that means is that at the box speed, so for this one, at ISO 400, you will get absolutely brilliant detail, resolution. It's not gonna to be too contrasty. It's gonna be quite a flat image. We'll come back to why that is in a minute. And as soon as you start to stray from that, you're gonna to start to get more artifacts creeping in. So Ilford would say, well, if you need to shoot in brighter light, shoot with Delta 100. If you need to shoot in lower light, shoot with Delta 3200. But of course, we here, we have no rules. So if you want to push and pull it, just to see what happens, of course, please do and share your results. People do say, actually, if you push it and then develop it in microphone, then you get really good results there. So you get a nice balance. Now, why would a professional film, a high quality emulsion, it's a T grain black and white film. It has Ilford's Core Shell technology, which is their best of the best, introduced in the 90s and actually reformulated at least once since then. So we were talking the peak of 90s analog technology, which as we all know, the 90s was the peak of analog technology in many ways. So this is one of the best black and white films at the time and of course still around today. So why would such a brilliant film, why would I say it returns a little flatter image? Well, the point being that if you wanted to ensure you got maximum amount of detail, you could then interpret it later in post, either in the darkroom or these days with editing, scanning, etc., things like that. So what this film's designed to do was to give you a really lovely, clean view of what you were seeing. So it won't be too contrasty, it won't be very grainy when shot at box speed. But of course that allows you to afterwards interpret it as you wish and whack up those contrast slides in Lightroom or play around <laughs> with the exposure settings in the darkroom, however you want to then interpret the scene as you imagined it. So you're going to get this incredible clean photograph straight out of the camera that may or may not be to your preference if you love grain, sorry, <laughs> unless you wanna push it a little bit. But equally it's a great one to contrast versus XP2 versus FP4, all of the plus range of Ilfords that sit separately then to the Delta professional range. Very well reviewed by folks on our website. People love the clean look. People love the fact that it gives you so much to play with in interpreting the final image later. Really impressed by the detail. One tip that someone did point out was that they noticed that when they semi-stand develop it in Caffanol, it requires more inversions than most other black and white films to avoid bromide streak. So if you do home develop, if you do semi-stand and use Caffanol, I know this is quite a niche thing, but it's an interesting one as well, that it, they noticed that with the Delta range in total, Delta 400 for today, you do have to be more careful with inversions. I'm guessing that's due to the way that the emulsion interacts with the developer, different to any other. And of course, semi-stand and stand developing, you're going to get that a lot more because you're relying less on the mechanical aspects of rotation and more on the chemical interaction to develop the film. So a bit of a tip there for home developers. Ilford tell me that the best developers for this are Ilford developers, <laughs> which possibly shouldn't surprise us at all. But yes, you can have fun. ID11 will work brilliantly. As we said, if you want maximum detail microphone, it is fantastic as well. Really, really lovely black and white film. Premium performance, premium emulsion. Wonderful one for getting a huge amount of detail. Shoot it as you wish. I'm not gonna say it's a special subject one because again, a professional film is designed to be great for portraits, landscapes, street, whatever you wanna do. 
have a load of fun, enjoy it, and let us know how you get on. That's it from me. If you enjoyed this, please do subscribe. Please drop a comment below if you've shot it before and what you like to see, how you found the images coming out of Delta 400. Otherwise, I'll see you again next week.